Hey everybody, I'm Nowski. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. This is another nursing related video. And in this one, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite nursing gear. So stuff that I used, that I use uh, on a daily basis uh, related to my nursing job. So here we go. So I'm going to be putting links to where I actually bought all of this stuff down in the description under the YouTube video. So if you want to know where I got it or want to go get something for yourself or for a new nursing school grad as a gift or whatever, um, feel free to check out the links. They're in the description. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is this clipboard. You're like, cool, it's a blue clipboard, it's awesome. No, it's more than just a blue clipboard, it's a folding clipboard. Uh, it's made of metal, and it's got all this cool information on the clipboard. So basically the brand name is White Coat Clipboards. Um, I bought it off Amazon, you can get it in a variety of colors. I got blue because it matches my scrubs. But basically I use it to, um, I slap a piece of paper in there and uh, Get I take report on it. I'll write down information, you know, about my patients at shift for shift change. And then what's cool about it is that you can fold it over. It keeps all that information private in there. This actually fits in my pant scrub pant side pocket, the big pocket on the side of scrubs. Um, so I can like carry it around in there. But what's really cool is all of this little uh, uh, cheat cheat type of stuff that comes on it like normal lab values expected lab values abg values um you know difference between metabolic acidosis alkalosis respiratory acidosis alkalosis and what the problem could be um various gauges of ivs and what type of fluids to put through those ivs um or you know like why you would need a 16 gauge iv um which is crazy big but that'd be like if you want a ton of fluid in super fast, like they bled out a lot. Anyways, um, sites for IM injections, cause you, you might've not done one in a while and you wanna know, so there's that. Um, a pupil size chart, um, a pain faces chart, uh, some conversions between centimeters to inches and feet, pounds and kilograms. Let's see, ounces to milliliters. Uh, kilograms to pounds, all that type of stuff. The QRS uh, complex and what the different um, measurements for the different parts of the QRS complex should be. You know, what to look for in relation to ST elevation, T wave changes, um, what sepsis and SERS means. So that type of stuff, it's just useful stuff and a little ruler on the sides. Um, so it's a really useful clipboard to have um, if you're looking for something to keep your, you know, your information on your patient in or whatever, and keep it private and really useful. So that is the first thing that I'm going to talk about. Again, link to it in the description. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is my stethoscope. So I have the Littman, L-I-T-T-M-A-N-N, -N, uh, Cardiology 3 stethoscope. I actually got two of them because eventually I wanted to get a neon yellow one because it just looks super cool. Um, but it's a really good stethoscope. It's going to run anywhere from like, I want to say like 150 to 180, depending on the color and metal combination that you get. But it's worth investing in if, you know, you're a nurse um, and you have the money to do it. I say invest in a nice, a nice stethoscope. So Littman makes good stethoscopes. The Cardiology 3 has great sound. So you're gonna hear your heartbeats, your lung sounds, your gastrointestinal sounds really well. It's got these nice comfy earpieces. Um, this Cardiology 3 comes with a adult diaphragm and then a pediatric one, but you can take the pediatric one off and just have the rubberized bell on that side if you want. But if you're in peds, it's cool. You can have your pediatric little diaphragm. I still have it on this one. Uh, it's just a tiny one versus, you know, the big one. Um, but that's the stethoscope that I use, this yellow one. The only thing that on the lighter colors, I don't know if you can see it, 
I don't know if it's just rubbing in the with my blue scrubs or what, but it gets some little bit of discoloration on these lighter colors. Black, of course, is still looking good. Um, yellow one I've been using for about a year. Black one I've had for since through nursing school, um, and they it held up pretty well. Next thing, what should I talk about? I have all my crap here on the floor. Let's just do scissors. So. I, through nursing school, had this dinky little pair of scissors. Um, if I keep looking to the side, I'm looking at myself in the little screen. Uh, sorry. But I got some nice, uh, what, you know, trauma shears. So these can cut through anything. They can cut through patient clothing. They can cut through bandages. Uh, I don't know, whatever else you'd need to cut through. This, this does a really good job. They're titanium. They, um, I had one that was like red, I lost it. Bought another one, pretty inexpensive, super durable, easy to clean, you know, can clean them off. Um, and the titanium holds up really well, really lightweight. Um, but anyways, yeah, so these are my favorite scissors. I don't know exactly what the brand name is. I got them off Amazon, but they're titanium. I'll put a link to them in the description. Okay. When it comes to pen lights, I have had, oops, should get this one too. I originally bought a really nice LED pen light, you know, for checking patients' eyes, their pupils and whatnot. And I dropped it on the floor from standing um, and it broke. Uh, it just wouldn't turn on, change the battery, it doesn't, didn't work anymore. So then I got this cheaper one, uh, really super cheap, but it's got the button and you can change the battery. Dropped this one off the floor, like off the counter or something. It also broke. Um, tried changing the battery and that didn't fix it. So that's that's another broken pen light. So then I decided, screw it. I am going to get the cheapest but most durable little pen lights they make. And it is your classic this. These, these pen lights where it's like you can't change the battery. Once the battery dies, you have to dispose of it. Um, but I found you can get like a pack of them off of Amazon for really cheap. And um, this, the brand name of this one is Primacare. There's a ton of different brands that you can buy them. I'll put a link in the description. But it's perfect for, you know, checking pupils. You're not gonna actually burn the retina of your patient. You, some of those pen lights are just insanely bright and I don't think they're made for medical professionals. Maybe if you're a plumber trying to look down a pipe or something, but when you're shining something in your patient's eyes, you don't need anything extremely, extremely bright. Um, just something to do the job. And when it came to me, you know, breaking pen lights, it happened twice. Um, so I am down to your nice basic pen light. This one comes with the pupil gauge. Next. Kind of gonna take a shift away from actual nursing tools to talk about my favorite little energy shot. You might be in the middle of your shift and you are extremely tired, maybe especially if you work uh, night shift and you're not used to staying awake at night, especially at the beginning being a new nurse. Then I went through a variety of energy drinks. Drinks started with you know, your Red Bulls and your Monsters, which are really shitty for you in the long run. Moved to energy shots like the Five Hour Energies, um, and then ended up finding this one. It's Vita Organic Energy, Vita V. It's these little shots. Mm. Um, they're organic. They are, it says non-GMO, if you care about that and uh, there's no artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners. So basically it's like a few per fruit puree with uh, some B vitamins and the amount of caffeine in a cup of coffee. So it's not, it's the right amount of caffeine and B vitamins like 100%. Um, it's not like 20,000%. You don't need that many B vitamins. I mean, eventually you're just gonna pee it out. So I also keep a measuring tape in my nursing bag. This one with the, uh, it's, it's plastic, bendable, centimeters, inches. Um, how far does it go? It goes 60, in, 60 inches. So it was pretty cheap. Got off of Amazon as well. Um, you can clean it, easy to clean. I know in the hospital you can 
usually get disposable paper ones, but I don't know if you're like a home travel nurse or something um, and you just need a good, um, a good tape measure. This one, the brand name is Mabus, but I'm sure you can find a bunch online. I'll show a link to the one that I got. I'm gonna talk about my scrubs. So at my hospital, we wear Galaxy Blue color scrubs. It's a little different than Royal Blue. A lot of people um, think that they're the same, but Royal Blue is actually a little, it's like brighter and a little bit lighter than the darker Galaxy Blue, which in my bright white lights, it might, it might look kind of bright. Oh, it actually looks just like that color too. The Planet Earth flag. Wow, it kind of is kind of the same. But yeah, Galaxy Blue is what I wear. The scrub top that I like to wear is made by Jockey. So this is kind of geared towards guys, this part, um, the scrubs, because I wear guys' scrubs. I'm sure a lot of these brands make both guys and girls' scrubs, so you can still check it out if you're if you're a lady, check out these brands. But I like the Jockey Scrub Tops um, because they have a really nice collar, this like soft elastic collar. Um, you got your pocket in the front and then you got two side pockets. I'll show a clip of me wearing it here in just a second. Um, and then the pants that I wear are, I don't think you can beat the Landau, um, L-A-N-D-A-U, Landau pants. All right, so these are my scrubs, the jersey, not jersey, jockey uh, scrub top. Got that front pocket. They are size one size, wait, what? Size, their sizing is one size too big. So I usually wear mediums. This is a size small top. Now I'm 6'2", 160, so thin but tall. But like, their, sh their shirts are sized pretty big. Um, it's also got these cool side pockets there. Um, or you can, you know, tuck it in. I usually do wear everything tucked in, but I'm just gonna show you that pocket. Um, and then these are the Landau pants. You know, I'm 6'2", and I'm not even wearing the tall size, so it's, it's pretty good. It's got double pockets on each side, that's that clipboard. Um, and it's got little slots where you can stick like your scissors or pens, things like that. So yeah, those are my scrubs of choice. Next, I'm going to talk about compression socks. They are really good for nurses. Uh, they, you know, they promote that venous return, blood return in the legs, help prevent swelling and aching legs. I, you know, you, you see your long distance runners wear them, but if you are on your feet a lot, it is good to wear compression socks. They do say it does also help prevent varicose veins for anyone who is worried about that. But the brand that I wear, again, this is kind of for guys because I wear this brand, but it's gold toe compression socks. I just get the black ones. When it comes to like a day-to-day -day just compression sock that you want to wear, Gold Toe is great. It's not like super, super constricting and they're not super expensive. Some compression stockings can be really expensive. Um, I think I bought a pair once that cost 50 bucks for a pair. These were like maybe 13 to 15 bucks a pair, uh, these Gold Toe. So they're good, good to have. Um, good brand for if you don't want something that squeezes extremely tight, but definitely you can feel it. It's, it's compressing your leg. Another thing that is very useful as a night shift nurse is an eye mask. So I wear, if I have to sleep during the daytime, I can usually make my room pretty dark, but light does still come in. And uh, an eye mask works wonders. You can get blackout curtains if you got windows. Um, that works great too, but I, I do like wearing the eye mask. I got this brand Nidra um, Found it on Amazon and it blocks out the light um, It's it, they're kind of concave or Yeah, concave. So they're like these little cups where you can actually still open your eye Underneath the eye mask when it's on you you can open it and just see uh, nothing see black so you know soft blocks the light Pretty cheap um, off of Amazon. Great thing to have if you're trying, if you're doing shift work and uh, you need to block out the light. So night shifters. 
One thing I didn't talk about was my favorite pens, and those are Sharpie pens. Specifically not this one. I like the ones where you can like just click it, retractable ones, so you don't have to go popping off caps and losing caps at work and whatnot. But retractable Sharpie pens and the retractable Sharpie markers. The markers are great for writing on uh, lab labels and sticking them on the little blood tubes. I realize that sometimes the pens like to smudge, but the permanent Sharpie markers, uh, that for some reason those work better for me. If you, if you have a room that's like a contact precaution room, just take a cheap ballpoint pen, just leave it in the room so you're not having to use your own pen or bring it in and out of the room, room to room, things like that. That would be the only time I'd say use a, a cheap ballpoint pen. Otherwise, ain't nobody got time for a shitty pen. So my bag that I have used throughout nursing school and I carry to work every day is this InCase backpack. So InCase makes some really good backpacks. They're, they're pretty slim, uh, squared off. It just makes a really good bag. InCase backpacks, that's my go-to as far as taking a bag to work. I did do a whole video about my favorite nursing shoes, so if I'm able to link to it, I'll put it like right here. So you can go check that out. Um, I am team sneaker as opposed to clog, but I know there's a big debate. Some people love those clogs. And then when you just have a really shitty day and you need to take the edge off, there's always whiskey. That is my video about some of my favorite nursing stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe and come back and see another video when I'm gonna talk about something else. Again, those links to all the different stuff. If you wanna go find it for a gift or to buy for yourself, they're down in the description. All right, have a good one. See ya.